Okay, now we've completed our master page, we've got a nice front cover as well, and we've got some pages in which to put our content in. So we can start now creating the magazine. Now before we do that, I'm going to look at adding a couple of other little features that you might want to add in. So the first thing, first feature is page numbers. It's good to know what page things are on. Later on, we'll do some sort of table of contents. Um, but So we need to know what page each item is on. Now there are two ways of doing this. You can either do it the simple way of drawing the text box, drawing it where you want it, and typing in a number. That's a lot of effort. You've got to work out what each number is and change the styles uh, to match. Alternatively, you can get the computer to do it automatically. So if we click on insert and go page number, I can choose where I want my page number. So I'm going to have mine bottom center. You, can, you should see there that a two has appeared on this page. If I go to page three, it says three. If I go to page four, it says four. It's done it automatically for me. Now, they look nice, but I don't want them that style. I want them in a different style that's going to fit with my magazine. So if I double click on the number, I come into here. And if you notice, it's got the sort of creamy, peachy background, and it's got closed master page. I'm now in the master page. I've only got one page, so whatever styles I add to this, will copy across to all my pages. Uh, one thing to note, one thing to note is that um, there is a big hashtag there. Now there's a hashtag there because that's saying this is where I'm going to put the number. Okay, you do not delete the hashtag. If you delete the hashtag, there is no page number there. Okay, that's just like a, it's like a holder saying this is where the number is going to go. But obviously on your master page, you've got one page, so you don't have separate numbered pages. So now I can do what I was going to do before. I can go to the home button. I can uh, I'm going to make it bold. I'm going to change it to that. I'm going to make it bigger. Okay. If you notice, it's gone too big. I can't see it, so I can click and drag my text box up a bit. And I'm going to make it white. And there we go. That is now done. My page number is sorted. So I go back to master page, I close my master page, and there's page 3, page 4, page 2. If I right click and I insert page, and I have a new page. Remember we're doing four page magazine, but you can have more. There's my design template automatically in, and it's automatically now on page number 5. Okay, so have a go at that. Add in uh, some automatic page numbers.